My name is Ren Akimasa. I'm a sales rep for a construction company. My hobby is exercising. On my days off, I try to keep my body and mind in shape by exercising. Well, I guess I'll hit the gym after work again. Huh? Are they slacking off again? Radeko, let's have dinner with me today. Huh? Hmm, let me think about it. He's Wazato Musashi, a sales rep like me. He is my kohai who joined our company mid-career a few months ago. And the one who is having trouble being approached by him is sales admin clerk Raraku Aranagi. Musashi-kun, is today's report ready? Uh, oh, I'm gonna do it right after this. No, Musashi, we are at work right now, so work takes precedence over chit-chat. I'll check the report, so make sure you bring it in. Naraku-san, can I ask you to make this document? Oh, thank you. Chief Ren is looking so cool today, too. Hey, Nanako. You want an old man like him? Musashi, Chief Ren is not an old man. He's good at his job and kind. Oh, if only someone like that was my boyfriend. Musashi-kun, you have to do the job he told you to do. Eh, uh, why is that Echo-chan all over him? Damn that guy. He's putting me to shame. Ch chief Ren! Oh, going home? Good work today. Good work? Um, I was waiting for you, Chief. There's something I wanted to tell you. Something you want to tell me? S since that time when you helped me when I was a newbie, I've always loved you, Chief Ren. What? You... you love me? I'm glad. Thank you. I mean, if you don't mind a guy like me. An unexpected confession from Narako who I thought was an honest and cute lady. One month into a relationship, in no time, we decide to move in together. It's like a dream come true to be able to be with Akimasa-san every day from now on. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy too, Rarako. I believed at the time that this kind of life would go on forever. I'm home, Rarako. Sorry I'm late. After I started going out with her, I started making mistakes at work. So I've been working late all the time. I wonder if I'm into romance too much. I've been trying to be careful, but I ended up coming home late again today because of it. Huh? Whose shoes are these? When I came home from work, I found a strange man's shoes at the door. I had a bad feeling, so I ran into my room. Oh, Narako, are you alright? What? You? Why are you here? Ah, welcome back, Ren Senpai. Oh, it's not welcome back anymore, though. What? What are you talking about? Akimasa. Sorry. Break up with me. So that's how it is. You should get the hell out of here, then, senpai. Hey, Narako. He didn't force you into this, did he? What are you talking about, senpai? Narako wanted this, too. I heard you've been working overtime a lot, so you haven't done that with her at all lately. You were too old for that to begin with, though. It's true that I didn't have much time to spend with her lately, but... Rarako is not saying anything. Looking at her expression, it seems Musashi is right. I see. Well, if it's your will, take care, Rarako. And so, my love affair with Rarako ended in a terrible way. I packed only what I needed, told Narako to get rid of what was left, and left the house. I couldn't bring myself to stay in that house. Whoa, that was quick. I remember Musashi was always hitting on her even before she asked me out. Since I started going out with Narako, I've been making more and more mistakes at work that I don't remember even doing. The reason I got home late today was because I had to work overtime too. Is it because he took my girlfriend away from me? I can't help but think he was behind everything. Anyway, I gotta find a place to live. It's already late at night. I don't feel comfortable asking someone to let me stay. So I headed to a business hotel by myself. Good morning. Good morning, Renkun. Sorry for making you work late last night. Her name is Kyoka Kirishima. She's my trusted boss, always looking out for me. No, no. I would rather thank you for working late with me. It's okay. That aside, what's going on with your girlfriend? Huh? Let's go to a new cafe nearby for lunch today, Narako-chan. Oh, I 
wanted to try that place too. I want to go there. They've been like that ever since I came to work. Oh, well, it looks like those two have started dating. I see. So that's why they came to work together today. Ren, you live with your girlfriend, right? Don't tell me. They kicked you out? <laughs> that's exactly it. I got kicked out yesterday, and I don't have a place to live right now. Oh, but I enjoyed staying at a business hotel. The bed was big and... But isn't it hard to live in a hotel for a long time? I have some money I've been saving for wedding, so I think I'll be fine for a while. Ren, stay at my place. What? Well, no, I can't trouble you, boss. You don't have to worry about that. I'll cook dinner for you today. What do you like? Hamburger steaks? Almond rice? Fried chicken? So, you think I like whatever kids like? I have evidence. Because when you first joined our company... Congratulations on your first contract! Don't hesitate to order anything. It's not much, but consider it a celebration for me. Thank you very much! Okay, I'll have a hamburger steak, um rice, and fried chicken! You eat a lot, don't you? Oh, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to go all out. <laughs> it's okay. You must be really hungry. That's what happened, remember? Whoa, forget it, please. Actually, no. I won't forget what you did for me back then. What are you saying? I owe you too, so don't hesitate to come stay with me. Thank you, boss. What the? After that echo, he's going for the elegant manager Kirishima? Damn, he gets all the women I go after. Why is it him? I'm a better guy than him. Manager Kirishima, I'd like you to have dinner with me sometime. The next day, unbelievably, Musashi started hitting on Manager Kirishima. Apparently, things aren't going well with Rarako anymore. Musashi-kun, I see you still haven't finished yesterday's report. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get it done right away. The report was supposed to be due yesterday. But you didn't even submit it and just left for home. What in the world were you doing? Uh, that's... Don't underestimate work. Get back to your seat. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. That's so cool. As expected of her. A few weeks have passed since manager Kirishima allowed me to stay at her house. I'm glad I found a nice prospect today. I can't keep bothering the manager forever. I went to the real estate agency after work every day and finally found a place close to the office. I'm gonna see it in person on the weekend. I was so comfortable living with the manager though. I ended up staying for so long. I'm home. Huh? I opened the front door and I became pale. I had a flashback to that day with Lareko and that bastard. These shoes, it's the same as that day. No way. Unlike that day, the shoes are in a state of disarray. Did that guy force his way in? Get out! I'm not interested in you. It's her voice. Kirishima-san, are you alright? Eh, whoa! Musashi's perfectly thrown out of the door, spinning. Oh, I forgot to mention. I do Aikido for self-defense, so I'll throw you out if you get too close. You, you should have told me that first. Damn, why can't it be me? You say the strangest things. You started going out with Aranagi-san, didn't you? And yet you suddenly show up here and force your way into my room. Musashi, I can call the police right now for trespassing, you know that? It's your fault. Why do you always take the woman I like? That's a false accusation. I don't disrespect ladies like you do. Damn, damn it, damn it, damn it! You're just a pathetic guy being protected by a strong woman! Don't get so cocky! Musashi gets pissed off and tries to grab me. Wah! Wah, what the heck just happened? I'm sorry. I'm still not good enough, eh? I got so frustrated that I couldn't control myself. <laughs> As I looked down at Musashi lying on the floor, he instantly showed a frightened expression. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm a Shihan. Aikido is my hobby, 
I got completely absorbed in it until I became a Shihan. You, you should have told me that first. Aikido doesn't have matches. The main purpose of it is not to fight with others, but to train one's own body and mind. It's not something to show off, but I'll use this power mercilessly when it comes to protecting the people I love. <laughs> Musashi-kun, why can't it be me, was it? I was saved by Ren-kun once when he was a new employee. A new client was hitting on me persistently just like you. And then Ren-kun protected me by throwing the guy like he just did now. Are you okay, Kirishima-senpai? Oh, thank you, Ren-kun. You're so strong. <laughs> I like to be physically active, so I try all kinds of things. And Aikido was the one for me. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna take the 6th Dan exam to become a Shihan soon. Cool! Hey, Ren-kun! If you become a Shihan, will you teach me too? And since then, even though I was a senpai and boss at work, outside of the office, Ren-kun was my Shihan. You might be harassed by a man in the future like that day, so... Aikido will protect you, Kirishima-senpai! Let's do our best! Ren-kun had the strength to discipline his own body and mind. That's why, no matter how much you tormented him, he never lost against you. In love, and in work, too. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh? You're going to pretend you don't know anything, even at this point? Um, Manager Kirishima? Well, you'll see what I mean. I'll see you at work tomorrow, Musashi. I won't forgive you if you run away. <laughs> Musashi, who had been threatened by Manager Kirishima, ran away in a panic. Manager, are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Thank you, Renkun. I didn't do anything. But you were so cool, Manager. It feels weird when you say that. Huh? The next day, the office was quiet because... Huh? Is that true, Manager Kirishima? Yes, I'm sure of it. Recently, there have been many mistakes in Ren-kun's documents. Musashi-kun, you were behind it, weren't you? I thought for a moment that it might be the case, but it seems that Musashi was really behind it. Wh why Why can't you be so sure? I'm not saying this without any evidence. I was wondering why. Because Ren-kun has been making a lot of mistakes that he would never make before. So I thought I'd check. I checked the recent printing history and the company's computers. What? Musashi, the traces of your forgery became apparent. And you still want to try to get away with it? Well, well, well it's... it's because Lanako had a naggy said she wanted to bring down manager Kirishima. Hey, you! Stop saying random crap! But it's true! You said you were lonely because you weren't taken seriously by that guy. And you cried to me saying that's because he was so close with Manager Kirishima! Oh, you always had grudge on Akimasa too! Just because I rejected you! What, what the heck? After you started going out with that guy, Manager Kirishima was my true love! If only you hadn't come crying to me! What? You've got to be kidding! Even you're going for her now? Enough! A Akimasa! If you want to have that stupid conversation, do it somewhere else. This is a workplace. If you make any more noise, get out. That's right, Musashi Aranagi-kun. I'm gonna ask you for details, so come with me. What you have done is a serious matter that could damage the company's credibility. You should be prepared to be punished accordingly. It's your fault. I've had enough of a cheater like you. Look who's saying, stay the heck out of my life! And then they left the office to be interrogated. Manager Kirishima, thank you. I didn't know you were looking into it. It wasn't just me. Everyone here said something was wrong. E everyone That means everyone here has seen how you have worked until now. Thank you, everyone. It's been a few years since I joined here. I've made a lot of mistakes. But I've learned and improved myself, and everyone around me has been watching me like that. I was so happy to know that, and I bowed deeply to everyone. And that day, as I was about to go home on time for the first time in a long time, the person who was waiting for me in front of the office was... A Akimasa, 
I'm sorry. I didn't get to spend much time with you when I was lonely. It was Larako, who had just dumped Musashi in front of everyone. She clung to me as soon as she saw me. I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to get your attention. I'm sorry for making you feel lonely. I'm sure I'm responsible for that. But I can't live with you, who'd cheat on me just to get my attention. Besides, I already have someone else I want to protect. Is that person... could it be? She's a strong and kind lady who saved me when I had no home to go back to. A Akimasa, I'll apologize properly, so... Larako still clings to me, and... Do you want to be thrown too? <sighs> it was manager Kirishima. Don't take advantage of men only when it suits you. You play the heroine of tragedy and invite sympathy. But in the end, men are just accessories to decorate yourself for you, aren't they? What? That's not true. Oh, that's right. Tomorrow, your punishment will be decided by the higher-ups. So be prepared. She probably couldn't stand it any longer. Trembling, Narako ran away. Manager Kirishima watches and smiles as if nothing had happened. Well, let's go home. Manager, thank you very much. Actually, I finally found a good place to live yesterday, and I'll be able to move out soon. There's been so much going on that I haven't had a chance to talk to you. I'm sorry it's coming late. What? You were still looking for a place? What? Yes. I became so comfortable living with you, though. Too bad. I was thinking the same. I thought you were going to stay with me forever. Uh, what? Also, you say I'm strong and cool time to time, but I want you to think of me as a lady. Uh, I've always thought so. You're very pretty. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. But I'm happy. Her ever so cute smile made my heart flutter. After that, Narako resigned. Musashi stayed on, but higher ups took his actions seriously. So he was demoted, got a grand pay cut, and sent to a remote office. According to the person at the office where he got transferred, he looks like he wants to quit every day. Akimasa, come on! It's been a while since we've had a hand to hand combat at the dojo. <laughs> it's okay. The dojo won't run away from you, Kyoka. I'm living a happy life now, with someone I want to protect by my side. Those guys taught me firsthand that if you hold grudges against others, misfortune will befall you. Instead of resenting and attacking others, it is yourself whom you should be fighting against. <laughs>